Hey guys, today we're going to talk about tattoos. Um, so you might be thinking of getting a tattoo or you might already have a few tattoos and you just want to learn a few more tips and what to do on your tattoo journey. So I'm not completely covered in tattoos. I have a few, but I'm not covered. Um, and I have learned, I feel like I've learned quite a bit about tattoos and what to look for and what to keep an eye out for and what you want to avoid throughout your tattoo journey. So here is a few things that I've learned along the way. We're going to start from the very, very beginning and we're going to treat it like you don't have any tattoos and you want to find out what to... Oh my god. Ringo. It like spooked me. It, it spooked me. I thought there was a little, a little ghosty fluttering on through. Anyways, where were we? Okay, let's start from the very beginning and act like this is our first time getting a tattoo and what you should do. So firstly, there are different types of tattoo artists or tattoo genres or different types of tattoos. There is neo-traditional, there's traditional, there's black work, line work, uh, realism. There's a whole bunch of different types of tattoos that you can get. So you want to figure out what kind of style you want. It's okay if you want a whole bunch of different types of styles and you want some realism, you want some black work, you want some neo-traditional, that's all fine. But for your first tattoo, you do want to figure out what kind of style you do like. We're going to use neo-traditional as an example for the first one. Perfect. So we looked through a whole bunch of different types and styles of tattoos and we figured out we want neo-traditional tattoos. Next step, figuring out what kind of tattoo you want. So this is very important. Um, I do want to quickly explain something. Not every tattoo has to have a meaning. So I have some tattoos that have meanings. I have some that don't have meaning. And sometimes it doesn't always have to have meaning. I mean, this is our body. This is our temple. You don't always have to create or come up with something or have a tattoo artist tattoo something on you that has meaning. Sometimes it's just something that makes you happy. Sometimes it's just something that looks pretty, makes you feel good. And that's the important part is that this tattoo makes you feel good. But let's just say for now that it's a tattoo um, that you want to have meaning. Let's say, for example, you have a tattoo, you want to get a tattoo that is an image of your pet. I'm going to use my dog as an example. So I want to get a tattoo of my dog, Ringo, and say you want moon in the background, you want some flowers around him, and you've got like a certain style and design going up on your in your head of what you would like. So now that you figured out, I want this kind of tattoo, I want my dog in it, or like your pet, and it's a mural of your pet, start looking up images and references of other people's tattoos and other tattoo artists just as a reference. You never want to copy another tattoo artist's work that is very, very rude, that's stealing someone else's artwork that somebody worked really hard for just to all of a sudden take it and use it and claim it as your own. Just imagine if you came up with something or you put a lot of hard work into something and someone just all of a sudden like, mine. I'm going to use that. That's mine now. That's not how things work. It's okay to see a tattoo artist's um, style or say, for example, a tattoo artist um, did a portrait of another uh, pet for somebody else and you're like, hmm, I really like that. I want something similar to that. It's okay to use images as references to figure out what kind of style or like what kind of ideas you want to put in there. So you're on Pinterest, you're on Instagram or whatever it may be, you're Googling it and you find a few reference images to help inspire what you want. Perfect. Now you figured out, I want my dog's face, I want flowers around him and a moon in the background. Perfect. You figured it out. Now all you need to do is find your tattoo artist. And this is very important. Uh, the best platform I find to find tattoo artists is Instagram. I use Instagram only for two things, tattoos and dogs. Um, so go on Instagram and you can find so many different tattoo artists and tattoo shops. You can do uh, a lot of pages will have tattoo artists within Ontario or within New Brunswick or within Florida or like around the world and stuff like that. But if certain places aren't accessible to you and you want to find something around your area or tattooers around your area, use 
Instagram. It is amazing. It's basically an online, it's an online portfolio for them. So you don't have to go to individual tattoo shops like you used to have to do. Open up books, go through all of the like tattoos um, artworks and like see their uh, portfolios and their work and everything. I remember that's what you used to have to do. Now it's all online. It's all on Instagram. Um, and you're looking and you're looking and you're like, hmm, I already chose I want neo-traditional. You're looking at neo-traditional tattoo artists that are accessible to you and you come across three that tickle your fancy that three artists you really seem to like their artwork so what do you do how do you pick those three tattoo artists and this is very very important something i wish somebody told me in the past Ugh, give me one moment i'm just gonna close my bedroom door because it's like mm, 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 mm. i don't like bedroom doors open give me one moment there we go now the door definitely should not be opening okay so you found your three tattoo artists that you really like and you need to narrow them down to one. Go on each tattoo um, artist's Instagram page and one important, important thing to look for is fresh pictures and healed pictures. You really want to take a look and see tattoo artists' healed pictures because a lot of the times something might look really great, but something that I've learned is that it's a skill to do tattooing. You can't, it's not just putting a needle on the skin. It's also how far, how deep, what kind of needles they use and like what kind of ink they use that stays on the skin. Or else you're going to get patchiness and things that don't heal properly. And you really don't want to get a tattoo, especially if it's a bigger piece that is going to have to be fixed up by another artist later on. I mean, if you do, that's okay. I have some tattoos that I'm going to have to get fixed in the future. But you really want to save that. You don't want to go through that. So finding fresh pictures and healed pictures is very, very important. That way it gives you an idea of what it's going to look like with proper aftercare on your body. Okay, so now you found, you narrowed it down to two. You found two tattoo artists where their um, Instagram pages look good. They work, it looks like they work in fresh, clean tattoo shops or their private salons or studios, sorry, in their private studios. You see fresh and healed pictures and they all look amazing. And so now all you really have to do is just take a look. You can even check reviews, see what other people are saying and whether, like, whether they enjoyed the experience. But now it's more so the styles. Take a look at both tattoo artists. See what you want and who can accomplish that. You don't want to go to like, I think I said this earlier on, you don't want to go to somebody who does realism to do your neo-traditional tattoo. I don't think I said in the video earlier on, but you don't want to do that because that person specifically trains and works hard and does that specific tattoo so they might not be able to accomplish what you want with the neo-traditional style it's like going to a neo-traditional tattoo artist and asking for realism it might look good but it might not be what you want because that's not what they practice in. they practice in this specific type of tattoo which is neo-traditional so look at the artist and see who can um who matches what you want best perfect. You've figured it out. You're just like, I like this artist right there. They, it looks like they're pretty similar with what I want or like it is what I want. I love their style. Um, they do uh, animals, they do portraits, and it's something that I feel like I can trust them with because they do a lot of what I want on other people. Perfect. So now on their Instagram page, you're looking and you want to click the DM button. See, not a lot of tattoo artists want people DMing them unless in their bio it says, um, like, accepted with, like, I can accept DMs or whatever. I would suggest emailing them. They'll always have, like, their contact information. So uh, you go on, you email them, get your their email, email them, and what you want to put in the email to let them know what you're interested in is you want to take a picture of the body part of where you want to get the tattoo. Say, for example... You want the tattoo right here. Take a picture and put that in the uh, email so that they can see what is and isn't there, how much space they're working with, how 
put in how big you want the tattoo, put in your reference and inspiration pictures, tell them, hmm, I know this is a reference picture and the dog or the picture has uh, lavender in it, but I want it to be daffodils or uh, what kind of color scheme you want and all the like information you want to put in. Something you never want to do ever want to do is bargain with a tattoo artist. This is their job. This is their life. This is their artwork. That's like going to a hairdresser and being like, hmm, 70 bucks for a haircut seems a little pricey. No, you don't want to start bargaining and be like, hmm, instead of 70, can you do 50? That hairdresser is just going to be like, no, F you. Like, go to first choose hair cutters or something else. Uh, go to Walmart and get your hair cut there if that's what you want. Because these people put so much time, effort, money. This is their career. You do not want to be rude um, to them and disrespect them in that way. It's okay to ask them how much it's going to cost, but do not bargain. And I know tattoos are expensive. Expensive. I know that. I know they're so expensive. And that's the thing. You are you do want to pay good money for a tattoo. It's going to be on your body for the rest of your life. So you don't want to jip out and do a $100 tattoo for the size of your palm uh, or like whatever it may be. And because you don't want to spend $300 on it. You don't want to spend $400 on it. A good tattoo artist will always cost more because they have more experience because this is what they do because they've been tattooing for like five, 10 plus years. It is so important to make sure you don't cheap out on a tattoo. I know it's expensive. I'm not like, I, I, I'm I not some rich person. I know I have to save. I have to put those tips away when I get my paycheck. I might just put $10 away here and there. It takes time to save. It took me a year to save up for a lot of the tattoos I wanted. And that's the thing patience. It's okay. Just put whatever money you can aside so that you know you're going to be happy with it in the future. Okay, and then, so you can ask what kind of, like, what the pricing is going to be. Just don't negotiate. Now you click send, and you're waiting. It's been two hours. It's been four hours. It's been a day. Don't email them again. Don't do it. Just give them time. Sometimes it takes time for people to, for tattoo artists to get back. I know on their Instagrams, or at least with my tattoo artists on their Instagrams, they'll do a post or they'll do a story saying that they're a little behind on um, getting back to emails because they've got lists and lists and lists of people that they need to get back to. It's not that they forgot about you. You are very important to them. You are the reason why they have this job. So they do want to get back to you. It's not like they're just like, mm, you're not top priority. You are their priority trust me. So they will get back to you. And then they'll post sometimes on their stories that like, hey, I will be getting back to all my emails this Saturday. Thanks for being patient, guy. patient guys. Give them a moment. If it's been like three, four weeks and you feel like it, then you can send them a little email, be polite and be like, hey, I don't know if you got my previous email, but whatever. Just give it time. Don't bug them. Don't be rude about it. Just give them time. There's a lot of people that want to get tattooed by them. No, another thing, when you're getting a tattoo, normally, again, at least with my tattoo artists, it's not like, hey, I want to get this tattoo. Can I get it next week? That's not how things work. Normally, it takes planning. Normally, they have a schedule of different people booked in those appointments, and you might not be able to get a tattoo until two months or a month. Or there's some tattoo artists where it's like a year's wait. I'm not even joking there's like a year wait list. So you have to like be patient. If there's a cancellation and they post, hey, there's a cancellation, grab it. I mean, if you're ready for it, grab it. Just keep your eye open for cancellations. And if you want it, grab it. But besides that, the tattoo artist will give you a list of when they have tattoo appointments available and you can pick one. Okay. So now it's all set. You're excited. If it's a custom tattoo later on, they'll also um, normally send you a picture the night before. Sometimes they'll send you one picture or two of what they came up with. And you can be like, that's amazing. Or hmm, can I just have one more flower in that little corner of the tattoo and whatnot. You can always talk about it when you show up as well. But that's the whole point is you have to find a tattoo artist you trust. But 
you also want to be happy with what you're getting. And it's okay to ask questions. It's okay. It's okay to ask, uh, ask to be a little more yellow in that flower or whatever it may be. Okay, so now you're very excited. You've got your custom tattoo with the tattoo artist you're so excited for and your tattoos tomorrow. What do you do? You do not drink the night before. You don't get like super intoxicated. You really don't because alcohol is a blood thinner. It's going to mess up your tattoo. You also don't want to take painkillers like Advil and stuff. Again, blood thinners because when you go in, you're getting your tattoo done, there's going to be blood. And then it's going to be hard for the tattoo artist to see with all the blood going on. And they're not going to be able to like put in the proper details and like lines and everything with all this blood gushing out. I mean, that's not actually what happens. It doesn't just start squirting out. <laughs> but you do want to be careful with that. No alcohol, no Advils or painkillers. Um, oh, you also want to get a very good night's sleep. That is super important. And when you wake up in the morning, you want to have a good breakfast. You want to have a good meal before you go in because it's this is something your body doesn't normally go through. So you want to treat your body properly before you go in. And you also want to be very, um, you want to make sure you eat. You want to bring things to keep you entertained, whether it's an audio book, your cell phone, and like earbuds. Um, uh, I was going to say like a book. But, I mean, if you're getting it done on your arms and hands, you can't really. I know a lot of tattoo shops have, like, TVs, and they'll play movies so you can watch that. Uh, or you can bring a friend. I would suggest letting the tattoo artist know or ask if you can bring a friend. That way you guys can keep each other company, especially if you're nervous. But don't bring your whole entourage. Don't bring your whole gang in with you because that's very disrespectful to the tattoo shop, to everyone in there. They're getting in the way to the tattoo artist because they have to focus on what they're doing on your body. Just be very respectful. And tattoo artists, a lot of the tattooers I've met are such nice people. They're more than willing to let you bring somebody in. Just, they're always so respectful towards you. Just be respectful back to them. Don't forget that. Another thing, if you get very jittery from caffeine, I would suggest not drinking caffeine before or during your tattoo. Um, I know I drink a lot, of, a lot of coffee. I drink a lot of coffee. And when I go into get my tattoos done, I'm like drinking my second, third coffee. And my tattoo artists are just like, wow, like normally when people are drinking coffee, they're a little jittery. They won't stay still or they twitch a lot. You're the only person who doesn't do that when you drink uh, a lot of coffee while getting your tattoo done. And I'm like, oh, well, I mean, I am made of caffeine, like blood who, you know, it's it's coffee, it's caffeine, it's espresso, it's cappuccino. There's a little, little tea in there too. But you do want to be careful. Bring some snacks. Um, if you're having a tattoo session that's only like two, three hours, uh, I wouldn't really suggest taking a break. It doesn't hurt as much as you think it would. I mean, a lot of people have different pain tolerances. I have, I consider myself to have a very low pain tolerance and I can manage tattoos. Um, so I wouldn't really suggest taking breaks unless if you really need it, then like go for it. But if you're doing like a six, eight hour session, then yeah, you're definitely going to want to take breaks and it's okay to take breaks. Like, the tattoo artist is going to want to take a little snack to, or, like, you know, eat something to continue and get the um, energy they need to continue tattooing you. It's okay to take breaks here and there. I know when I do six, eight-hour sessions, I'll take two or three breaks, go outside, get some fresh air, come back in. It's always okay to let a tattoo artist know, hey, this is getting painful. Can I take a quick five, ten-minute break? And they're going to be like, fuck yeah. <laughs> Heck yeah. I need a break, too. So that's okay. Um... So you get your tattoo, it's done. Uh, oh, one more thing. If you are getting a tattoo and it's somewhere where it's very painful, uh, say your neck, sometimes it hurts on the chest for some people. If it's a big piece and it's got the line work, shading and then coloring, you do, if it's too much pain, it's okay to stop and ask to continue another day. You don't want to push yourself. Um, I know I do push myself just because I want it over and done with and I'm excited. 
But if you can't handle it, let the tattoo artist know. It's okay. It happens all the friggin' time. Unless if the tattoo artist says, push through, we're almost done, then trust them. This is such a thing. Like, this is such a big thing. You have to find a tattoo artist that you trust. But trust them. Because it might only be 10, 20 minutes extra. And you'd be so happy you, like, push through. And it's okay to be like, okay, can I just take a quick five minutes just to re, you know, whew, pump myself up <laughs> before getting like finishing or continuing on they'll be like yeah continue never be afraid to ask tattoo artists something because they do want to make sure you're comfortable and then when your tattoo is done you might be so happy with it as I always am or you might think like hmm it looks like there's not as much shading in this area when there's a lot of shading in that area. Always wait till the tattoo's done before you ask for something to be fixed because it's in the beginning, in the middle, and in the end, it's not going to look the same until the final product. So just wait until the end. And then if you find that this area, like I need this yellow to be just a little darker or like whatever it may be, it's okay. Ask them. It's going to be on your body for the rest of your life. If there's something you want fixed and tweaked a little bit, ask them and they're going to be more than happy to do that for you. Okay, you got your tattoo, you're all excited, you've got your new, your new, uh, your new ink, you go home, they like wrap it up with saran wrap or whatever they use to wrap it up. You go home, go to sleep, you wake up in the morning and it's friggin' black. It's friggin' black it's okay. It's called tattoo plasma and it's nothing to be worried about. It doesn't mean your tattoo all of a sudden disappeared. It just means that it's healing. It just means that it's healing. Okay. So a lot of the times tattoo artists will give you a time frame to wait and they'll be like, wait five hours before removing it. I always wait a full, depending where it is on my body, a full 24 hours before I re remove the like protective stuff on the tattoo and you want to use unscented soap on your tattoo when you wash it and washing your tattoo is so important you really want to wash that unscented soap you don't want to scrub it you just want to be gentle with it you don't want to soak your tattoo in the shower as well especially during the healing stages because it's going to start oh you want to make sure you wash off all the plasma but your tattoo is going to start scabbing after a few days and you don't want to rip those scabs off. You don't want to be too harsh while you're washing it because if you rip and take those scabs off when they're not ready or not scabs, but like, you know, the little flakes and stuff, it's going to take the ink along off with it. So you want to be very gentle. You want to wash it. You don't want to soak um, and have the tattoo soaking. So if you're in the shower, if you just got a tattoo here, shower, do whatever you have to do, and then keep it out of the water for as much as possible. Make the showers as quick as possible because you don't want to soak it. You want it to heal properly. You want to wash your tattoo at least once a day. You do want to moisturize it. There's so many different things you can use to moisturize it. All I use is the Aveeno Unscented Lotion. You just do a thin, very thin. You don't want it having clumpings. It's kind of the same if you have it soaking. You don't want it with water. You don't want to have it soaking with a lotion as well. You want it to breathe. So you just do a very thin little layer of um, of the Aveeno or whatever you use and keep it moisturized. That way the healing process is proper. That way it's not patchy. That way you take care of it. So when it's nice and healed, it looks so good and proper. In your tattoo when it starts um, flaking and scabbing or whatever, it's going to get itchy. It's going to get itchy. And same thing as how you don't want to rip the tattoo off or, um, or the scabs or the pieces and everything because it's going to take ink off along with it. You don't want to scratch it. You don't want to interfere with the healing process. So all you have to do is slap it. Don't like rub. Don't scratch. Just slap. Like for example, when I, this one was super itchy and all you got to do, slap it, slap it. And it like, will send like a tingle throughout your tattoo and it'll help with the itchiness. You don't want to wear tight, tight clothes. Like if it's on your legs, you don't want to wear jeans, something that's going to rub and interfere certain parts of your body, whether it's your elbows, your knees, your feet, your hands, you might want to take a day off 
the next day or two, depending of what your job is, so that the tattoo has time to heal. I got a tattoo on my leg, and the very next day, I went to work. And there's a lot of walking, I'm not sitting at my job, and it interfered with the healing process so much. So you do want to be careful that you're not wearing tight clothing, that it's breathable. So I would say the best time to get a tattoo would be spring, late spring, um, early fall. That way it's not covered. You don't want it exposed to the sun. The sun is the devil to your tattoos. It's not good. It's gonna, especially if you have like coloring, it's not gonna heal properly. It's going to take and lift a lot of the color out. You don't want to go swimming. You want to avoid all of this while your tattoo is healing. And once your tattoo is healed, sunscreen is so important, especially if you're getting colored tattoos. You don't want it fading. You don't want to have it get retouched in the future. Uh, you might when you're like 60. I don't know. Anyways, but you do want to be very careful with the healing process with your tattoos. Um, during the winter time might not be the best time because then again you have to wear a whole bunch of layers depending where you live. Um, and that's going to interfere and rub against the tattoo. Okay, so now let's also talk about pain tolerance or pain of tattoos. Um, everyone's pain tolerance is different. I feel like I've got really bad pain tolerance. I can't do blood work with needles and it just makes me, I, oh, oof, I don't even want to think about it. It's just bad, but I can handle needles. Um, like a lot of people, when they get their chest done, they say it's the worst pain possible. It did not hurt for me whatsoever. I felt the vibrations against my bones, like my ribs or whatever but it did not hurt me whatsoever. Maybe that's just because it's very simple and it's just like line work and like very minimal shading. Um, but it didn't hurt. And a lot of people say that area for them really hurts. Uh, I know some people who got tattoo here and I have uh, my friend, she got like a uh, flower over here. It didn't really hurt her, but for me, it hurt so much. It like my arm was like swollen. So everyone is different. Like this didn't hurt me here at all, but apparently finger tattoos do hurt or like hand tattoos do hurt. And then if you get coloring, it is going to hurt more, especially if you're doing it all in one session, because then there's the line work, then there's shading, and then they add the coloring on top. So those ones do tend to hurt a little bit more with coloring. Coloring does tend to fade, so you do want to be careful and put a lot of sunscreen on them. Um, and there's just a lot of things you want to really consider of how much work. I feel like color tattoos are a lot more work. So if you're willing to put in that effort um, to take care of them, even because when you get them done and it heals, it's not like that's it. You don't have to take care of them. It's a commitment that you're making. So you have to take care of it every day. You got to moisturize it, sunscreen it, take it out, show it off. Um, in the future, I mean, when we get older, when I'm 80, it might, it might need some touch-ups. You know, when I'm like 40, it might need some touch-ups because there's some days I forgot to put sunscreen on it. So you might eventually have to get them touched up and whatnot. And people, when you get a tattoo and they see it's fresh, they're very, like, these are just strangers. They're very tempted to touch tattoos for some reason. They're very tempted and it's okay to just be like, please don't touch them. <laughs> it's healing. I don't want to get infected. If you have pets at home, you do want to be careful that you're not getting fur and stuff like that caught on your tattoos because you don't want your tattoo to get infected. You do want to be very careful. So let people admire them. Just don't let them touch them because it's very, like the healing process is so important. It's so important. Um, and then there are some people that judge and they're like, oh, you're so pretty. Like, why would you do that to your body? And it's like, oh, well, I don't know. Why do you do that to your body? I mean, this is my body. I can do what I want. It makes me so happy. It makes me so happy. I can't imagine myself without tattoos. Who are you to say anything about people with like their body or like commenting on other people about their body? Unless if it's a positive comment, you know, if it's negative, just just don't say it. Just don't say it. Why be mean? You know what I mean? If you have an opinion, cool. Keep it to yourself. 
But unfortunately, that's not how things work. That's not how a lot of people work. So you might get some lash, um, so you, you might get some mean comments or you might tell people, like ask, people might ask you, uh, why would you do that to yourself? And it's like, hmm, I, I don't know. I just woke up one day and was like, I'm gonna get a tattoo. No, it's because you wanted it. So you just be ready to deal with that, especially if there's like certain parts of your body, you're getting tattooed. It's gonna happen. Just ignore it because, honey, if it makes you happy, that's all you gotta worry about. No one else is living with your body but you. This is your temple. This is your home. So make it as pretty or as like artistic as you want. Do what you want with your body. These are considered modifications. And I mean, I see it as in, I love to decorate my house, my room, my backyard. I love decorating. I like making things homey. I like putting things around that make me happy. Why wouldn't I do that with my body, you know? Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I might put in another, there's so many other things to put in um, about tattoos, tips and tricks and like how you want to take care of it or like all these things. So I might post another video um, about tattoos and what to expect and what's not true about them. But for now, I feel like this is a very good time to stop. It's a very long video, longer than I wanted it to be. I want it to be 15 minutes, ended up being 30 minutes. Um, so I'll just do another video because there's so much to cover about tattoos. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Bye. Wait, one more thing. This is a new channel, a new channel I am creating. I do want to let you guys know that I will be posting once a week. For now, once a week, I am working full time. It's going to be a different video every week. It's not always going to be a list of things or how to's or tips. I don't really know what my channel's gonna be. I'm figuring that out. I'm still getting out of my comfort zone. I'm still learning new things. I'm still figuring out who I am on YouTube. So just stay tuned. If you wanna watch more, I will have more, one video every week. So you can subscribe, you can put your notifications on. And if you wanna share this video with anyone of what they're expecting or they're nervous and they don't know what to do with tattoos or like how to get started or what to ask or what to look for, share my video. If you guys do have other questions about tattoos, you can always ask me and I might have the answer for it to help you guys um, with the whatever questions you have. Anyways, guys, again, thank you. See you next time. Bye.